What's up, guys? So it is August 29th, Tuesday. Lots of games came out. As you guys know, this came out. Uh, I did pick this up this morning, but I did have to work all day, so I didn't have time to unbox it. But I have the rest of the night off, and I have tomorrow off, so I'm definitely going to unbox this and be playing this. Cannot wait. So this is Mario plus Rabbids Kingdom Battle. This is the Clutch Edition, which was a GameStop exclusive here in the U.S. Uh, it's an awesome clutch edition. Very awesome. I had to get it when it was first shown off at E3. Um, I mean, just look at that. Look at that statue. That's freaking cool. <laughs> it's freaking cool. I'm not a big Rabbids fan, but honestly, I don't mind them as much as everyone else does. Um, so, yeah. We're going to go ahead and open this up. I'm going to show you off the size of the box there. Some really nice artwork. I think the Rabbids are a good fit for the Mario universe. Um... I think Ubisoft did a really good job doing this. So, yep, so in here you get the figurine, you get the limited edition game, the official soundtrack, and then 12 exclusive trading cards. So, yep. For people who don't know, Mario Plus Rabbids is a Mario and Rabbids crossover game made by Ubisoft. It's developed by Ubisoft, published by Ubisoft, even not Nintendo. Nintendo did not have a single hand in this except for... You know, obviously everything has to go through Miyamoto. He has to have final approval on things. But he pretty much told them, hey, do whatever you want. And that's that's what they did. So, oh wow. So what's, oh, it's a slip case. Okay, so it doesn't open, guys. This is like a, it doesn't open normally. So it's going to be a little bit different. I want to make sure I don't actually cut this box, though. Because I love this box. It's awesome. It's an awesome box. It's just, just, just awesome. And if you guys don't know, they, the only thing was they were told to make something different. And it really is different because of the fact the matter is we've had like how many hundreds, hundreds of Mario games over the years from platforming to RPGs to sports, racing, educational games, fighting games. We've had the whole nine yards except a tactical game. This is a tactical game similar to Fire Emblem, but uh, like... I would say a lot of people are saying it's more similar to like XCOM. Um, also, if you ever played Codename Steam on the 3DS, very amazing, underrated game by the way. It's kind of like that. So, anyways, once you uh, cut the sides, it comes off just like that. So I got a little slip cover going on there. And then uh, got more art on the back. So this is a little, little bit more natural. So, and there's no. Let me see. I think it just slides open after that okay so it slides open and then first things first we got the game don't sleep on the game guys the game's gonna it's looking good um it won over 50 e3 awards and six nominations um it says on the front there like okay but whatever um ign best strategy game game critics award winner e3 best of yeah so, yep, yeah, that's, the, that's the cover. Awesomeness is rate E10. Pages 10 and up. Cartoon violence, comic mischief, mild language. And um, there's the back. Mario and the Rabbids team up for an epic adventure. Really, really cool. Um, and then uh, number of players. It does have co-op, one or two, both in um, TV and tabletop mode. Obviously not handheld mode. It is compatible to Pro Controller, of course. does use Amiibo. So, yep, yep, yep. Uh, basic reading ability is needed to fully enjoy this game, so it is rated E10 and up, so you don't want too young a kids, but it's it, it's still going to be good enough for kids. From what I've read, it's the game has a lot of depth to it, but it's not overly complicated like certain other strategy RPGs. So, again, like, you know, Fire Emblem, you know, Disguy, uh, things like that. I mean, nothing against those games, it's just that this game can be enjoyed by... by strategy RPG fans, as well as kids like maybe eight or nine years old. Uh, an eight or nine year old kid might not understand things like this guy or Fire Emblem as well. So, got garbage everywhere. Ugh. It's sticking to the size. I hate when they have shrink wrap that does that. But, let's see what the inside looks like. Ooh, nice. Ooh, so. Limited edition content includes the Pixel Pack. Unlock eight in-game weapons with unique statistics. So it does have a code. Um, not going to show you guys my code because I'm going to do it. But I'm going to do it before the video goes up anyways. So that's cool. That comes to limited edition. Um, sad to say, no back cover art. 
this is a Switch exclusive, obviously, uses Mario. Um, but no back cover art. Hmm. The game card, um, pretty standard. Pretty, pretty standard stuff, just the logo. So that's cool. We get the pixel pack with the limited edition. Um, I didn't, I don't know if that comes with the collector's edition or if that's like a day one thing. I don't know. Um, here we got the official soundtrack. So this is cool. Um, nice artwork there and on the back. And then I'm going to quickly open this up, show you guys what this is all about. Let me see if I can do this good. Again, without messing anything up, because this is, again, just a nice, nice piece. I always love it when games have uh, soundtracks. It says it's the official soundtrack, so I'm hoping it's the actual soundtrack and not just like a, oh, here's ten songs of a selection. I mean, not, not that I... I don't mind that either, but it's just like I hate how a lot of games they, they go that route. I'd rather just have a soundtrack. It is a slip slipcase, so we got it off there, and then it just be, be gentle with the CD. Um, yep, music composed by Grant Cope. So that's it. Pretty much nothing else after that. So that's cool. Um, so that's the CD. We got the. Um, collector cards here. Collector cards, they come in this little case here, so that's interesting. I wonder if it's all the same cards. It's, um, let's go back and look at the box real quick. Or no, let's look at this right here. Uh, 12 exclusive trading cards. So it's, I don't know. So we're going to open them up like this. I know there's people who are probably like, oh no, you're going to keep it sealed. But again, I, I do my thing, you do your thing. I want to open up the cat's upstairs meowing. So if you hear meows in the background, that's my cat meowing. <laughs> so let's see what we got here. Um, so we got the Ancient Gardens boss. What the hell? Rabbit Kong. Bouncing wave effect high damage grab. Interesting. Uh, another one. What is this? Come in, Carlos. Per, per rabid plant. That's cool. And then uh burn super effect high mobility. Interesting. These are foil cards. Um spooky trails boss. Uh Phantom. Interesting. Mobility sound burst, stone circle super effect, and push super effect. Interesting. Um Bowser Jr., of course. Of course Bowser Jr. is gonna be in this game. Bounce Super Effect, Burn Super Effect, Magnet Dance. Interesting. Then we got the uh, Yoshi. The Exploder. There's the weapons and stuff on the back. Uh, Rabbit Yoshi. He's got the... Oh, he says Boom Boomer. Interesting. Oh, it shows like their weapons and their techniques and stuff. Rabbit Peach. Healer. Weapons and stuff back there. This is the uh, Rabid Mario. Looks like he's a uh, brawler. Brawler type. This is weapons and stuff. Uh, Rabid Luigi. Yeah, Rabid Luigi. And looks like he's a wizard. You're a wizard, Luigi. Peach. And she's a paladin. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> kind of funny. I don't know exactly what... I didn't... I wasn't aware there was classes in this game like this, but here's Mario, and he's a fighter. And then this is uh, Luigi. I love the fact that Luigi, that Luigi has a uh, the poultry gust gun. That's awesome. He's a scout. What is this Team Fortress scout? <laughs> so yeah, that's the cards. And then we got one last thing, obviously. Um, so you take this off. And then you just kind of slide this out of the box. Now this is nice. This is the the uh, this is the centerpiece of the collector's edition. Let's see how I can take this out. Uh, oh, it's tape. No wonder. Let's get all this crap off here. Get it off. Get it off! I want it! I want it so bad! I want to hold it. I want to smell the plastic. 
Oh my god, my knife cut through the... Jesus. My knife cut through the actual hard plastic. Wow, I wasn't trying to do that, but sure, why not? Oh, on the bottom too? Oh, come on, guys. At least Ubisoft went for safety. I mean, I, I, gotta, I gotta at least give them that, right? So, yep, now we got the tape off, and we got... Ooh, we got the statue. We get the statue. Nice. Oh, it does... Oh, okay, so you can actually take it off. Although, why would you want to take it off? That looks kind of silly, but... Um, that's awesome. That is just... That's, that's awesome. Very detailed, very nice. Got a nice texture to it. Um, it, it's, it's really nice. Really nice. I love it. The paint job's real good. Yep, you can even see, like, the face on the gun. You see little indents. I don't know if you can show up on camera, little indents in there. That's just really nice level of detail. Yep. This is awesome. I'm going to have to find somewhere for this, because this is just, it's just awesome. And it smells fantastic. Got to smell all that, oh, that plastic, get it all in my lungs, get the plastic cancer going. <laughs> but no, this is awesome. So yeah, that's uh, the game. That's the Clash Edition. Like I said, that was a GameStop exclusive. Um, I will definitely be playing it, like I said, tonight and tomorrow. will let you guys know what I think of it. Uh, there is a season pass, like I've mentioned before, 1999. I'm definitely going to get that because you get right off the bat, you get like, I think, eight more weapons. I don't know if it's the same as what comes in the, the code I got, but um, the pixel pack. But I know there's eight weapons where you get from buying the season pass, and you also get some co-op missions later on this year, and then next year is going to be new story content. So it's going to be awesome. So um, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks so much. Uh, I know this video went a little bit longer because I tried to unbox everything, but uh, let me know what you think. Did you guys get the game? Are you gonna Are you going to get it? Are you playing it? Love it? Hate it? You know, Let me know. Throw some comments below. And as always, I will catch you guys later.